All right, what's up, Paul Squad? This is Roy Taurus Hart back in the tube, and happy Friday, yes. Back by popular demand, y'all. Back by popular demand. Recaps are finally back. I get to finally react to every single one of them I missed out on. I actually have 10 of them I missed out on, but for today, y'all, for today, I have five. That's right, I will have five so far. Hopefully, I'll do the rest tomorrow, but yes. To the five I'm doing now, I'm doing two double Blaber recaps, two double Zephyr recaps, and one Jajutsu recap. So, so yes, five in a row, baby. So I want to do five because you know it's gonna be I'm gonna be in low so such low energy if I do five. Especially I recently just did my cherry reactions earlier this week and upload them on on Thursday. So I wanted didn't want to waste no time, you know, doing all of them in one day. I know I was going to, but I just don't have the energy for it. And of course, I had to work today, so I had to take me a good nap, you know, get myself prepared up for it, and had to get some eat first. But yeah, on Hot Squad, um, yeah, it's recap time, baby. Finally final recap time so hot squad first things first what we're gonna do we're gonna watch blake boys recap of don the plan the apes this is actually his recent one and it's called how caesar did Koba like mufasa saved the plan the apes so hilarious title by the way but it's true you know because Koba was definitely one of the most craziest villains in the franchise of course I and mean, he, he was so badass man of course he's being a, a total badass as well you know the fight between them was absolutely nuts i would say dawn and plenty Apes has been my favorite plenty Apes movie in general then war to be honest but still that no no shadow of a doubt if you've seen plenty Apes, by the way it came out 10 years ago which is crazy the part when Koba had had you know two rifles and dual wheeled with horseback just shooting it i was like man that was so badass, man. So badass. So I'm excited to see a recap for this. So yeah, I'm excited for it. And also, our region just watched Kingdom of Plenty Ace, which that's which is pretty good. I got me, it's pretty good. I saw it on IMAX for my birthday, so I did watch that as well. So yeah, definitely enjoyed that. So Hot Squad, whatever we do, uh, it's finally back, y'all. Back by popping the man one last time and saying this. So Hot Squad, Blank Boy, Donnie Plenty's recap. We're gonna watch it right here, right now. Let's do this, baby. It's about to go down. First of all, I don't know why the scientists thought it would be a good idea to give apes super intelligence. They're built like these and have violent tendencies. The humans basically had the fate of our universe on the line and gave the ball to Clay Thompson wide open. Signed our death wish right there. Caesar at this point has had enough of the abuse from the humans. They was picking these boys apart and putting them back together like Mr. Potato Head. So he puts the beats on his abuser Zookeeper and frees all the apes to lead the rebellion. And I'm gonna need somebody to play his theme song. As they Bro, that part when finally Caesar said no to um the guy who played um Malfoy in the Harry Potter movies, bro, that that got me shook. I'm like, what the heck? That got me shook, man. <laughs> that was crazy. They all head over to the Golden Gate Bridge because they need to cross it in order to get to the forest. He threw that baseball like James Charles Jr. is not making the league. I'm not coming back home. <laughs> but in the middle of bro's conversation, he looks up and sees Caesar and his goons charging across the bridge, running over all the cars. How the hell am I going to explain to my insurance that a chimpanzee <laughs> stomped on my vehicle? <laughs> all of this is crazy damage being done. Imagine you just trying to go home, man. And they see Caesar like Osama bin Banana because <laughs> he was already got five stars. Humans pulled up with an attack chopper already. They look down and see all the apes charging towards the end of the bridge, and we see that that five-star one level done brought out the SWAT team. Hmm. They got a whole blockade set up with a head glitch and everything. The humans have guns, armor, a helicopter, and their opponent is a bunch of apes with nothing. What can hmm. they do? Throw their shit at y'all? There's no <laughs> way this gets fumbled. Caesar continues to lead the apes forward with that Franklin Saint running form, peeps the blockade and calls everyone to a halt by hitting the Black Lives Matter. But this <laughs> is when Caesar's spotty senses kick in and I already know what some of you racists thinking. Hey, why we need another monkey Spider-Man? Turning to see the cops on horses behind them and now the apes are getting treated like IG thoughts, getting hit from both sides. So Caesar shows why he's the greatest leader in fiction, telling Cobra to lead a troop of apes to climb on top of the bridge. They gotta use the environment to their advantage. They have no weapons, no nothing. So they go up into the fog. But they need to hit the humans from both sides. So Caesar hits the woe, telling Maurice to lead a troop down below. And this is great strategies right here. Should definitely work as long as the helicopter up top is not giving elite callouts. Hey, yo, Harambe, Curious George, King Kong, and LeBron are down below. <laughs> as Maurice and a bunch more apes oh, make God. their way over, swinging on the bridge like some vines. And Caesar is leading the third group that are on the bridge right smack in the middle of the fight. 
And I can't lie, they getting fucked up. The cops mm. coming through with their police brutality sticks, beating mm. the life out of them when the only thing they're guilty of is trying to go to their natural habitat. These boys was chained <laughs> up for years thinking about Forrest hitting the Jaden Smith. <laughs> I have to be here. I want to go, go home. home. Caesar looks around and is seeing his team getting white, oh, recognizing it's about damn time to put some numbers on the board. So he tackles one of the cops to the ground, knocking him out. Bro right here starts charging in, and out of everyone, he chooses to charge in towards Buck. Gorillas can run at 25 miles per hour, can lift up to 4,000 pounds. Bro basically voluntarily signed up for the Tupac meet and greet. Buck charges in, and with one fucking arm, stops the horse. These horses can weigh up to 2,000 pounds, mm. plus the donut eater on top, that's like half a rod wave he's pushing away with one arm. <laughs> he tries to hit Buck multiple times, but Buck is straight up tanking them and eventually just gets ripped off the horse. Mm. You know Buck was about to feast too, because he goes ahead and flips this man over like a pancake, but Caesar doesn't want any of the apes to kill the humans despite them being attacked. Nigga think he I'm okay. So he tells Buck to chill out, stopping him from giving this man graham cracker bones, but Buck is like, okay. I can't kill him, I'm like, I'm but I'm leaving him with trouble, <laughs> giving that man his 13th reason why he gotta leave the force. So we pan back over and see that Koba has successfully led his troop to the top of the bridge. They're one strong gust of wind away from Black Widow walking up to them in hell like, you too, huh? But the helicopter got the American sniper on it, and he locks in, shooting down some random NPC AI-generated chimp. Hmm. But all this did was enrage the rest of the apes, because Maurice sees him falling, knowing that even if he somehow survives that fall, that nigga can't swim, it's wraps. So hmm. he tees up, and him and the rest of the group starts charging in even harder now. The blockade up top is still very much in place, stopping these boys from going home. They got hmm. guns with fully customizable bodies too, Kylie Jenner can relate. But Caesar's got a plan, because he hits the 11 from Stranger Things and all the gorillas sprint over to flip over the bus. The humans are confused, they think Caesar's plan is dumb, they're just like, Monkey, I do think it would be wiser for you to keep running. But the gorillas push the bus within very close range while they're spraying until it eventually stops moving. The cops thought they won, but those bullets were clearly weaker than Drake's disses. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're short, Kendrick, and you got diddied when you were little. Damn. What type of roast were those? <laughs> they see a lone horse riding through, and there's Caesar, showing he's an ally again, as Koba squad drops down from the top, causing havoc. And while they're getting apes rained on them from above, the squad from down below makes the move climbing on top of the bridge, and bro right here got the only correct expression in a situation <laughs> like this, with them tight-ass pants on. Usually orangutans are actually really chill creatures for real. Hmm. They just want to vibe with their flat and squidward faces. <laughs> but not anymore once you kidnap them as Jeez. he destroys the gun. Koba's squad hit him from the top. Maurice's squad hit him from the bottom. And hmm. now Caesar's squad in the middle is like, oh yeah, we need some of that. <laughs> just for spraying me with a hose, fuck nigga. <laughs> Straight food <laughs> eats out there. Rocket out here looking like an old man. My boy rocking that Stephen A. Smith. But he looking young right now, dodging a bullet and jumping through the window, knocking this man out. Caesar is out here, Harriet summoning it up, orchestrating this whole escape plan because all he does is point and three apes start jumping his car, reversing, having it halfway off the bridge. He now has to pick between being ape food or shark food. Poor guy is stuck between a rock and a white castle. If that ain't a hard place, then I don't know what is. Whipping out the smallest gun he could find and getting thrown off by Buck. And I don't care what you try to tell me, that was a body he just caught. Rockets using their helmets like pom-poms and the rest of the squad are celebrating like they just won game 7 because the humans skedaddling out of here. But that celebrating got cut faster than Jeremy Lin because Damn. the helicopter pulls up with a goddamn LMG spraying these boys. Damn. And this pussy right here is snitching for him to shoot at Caesar. You cut off the head of the snake and the body will follow. Without <laughs> Caesar, these niggas might confuse the ocean for a forest. Caesar manages to hop in the cop car and find some chains lying there. Using his big brain, he runs over swinging it around and Tom Brady's that hoe at them, knocking them both down. Oof. And this is when the dude in the helicopter passenger seat whips out his pistol and starts spraying at Caesar. But he's of course on a helicopter. So he's shaking OD like Floyd Mayweather on a sp and tells him- Buck sees this and pushes Caesar out the way, protecting him. He saw that man Caesar speak. As far as he's concerned, this is Jesus now. There's no way we're letting him die. Buck, while taking multiple shots, long jumps onto the helicopter to beat his ass. We can't see what's happening in there, but I can only imagine it sounds something like this. <laughs> the helicopter crashes and Caesar runs over to see that the pistol don't turn Buck into Swiss cheese. Mad bullet holes in him and it's rest in peace to beg homie. 
While Caesar is mourning his friend who got lit up, the main guy who caused all of this starts <laughs> begging for Caesar's help. And he looking at him like, oh, wasn't you talking crazy before? So what, you fat, you ugly, and you stink, monkey? Shut up with your ugly ass. So Caesar gets his ass with a puppy face right, walking man. away, giving Koba the nod. Just looking at poor Koba, you can tell the doctors was in there trolling. What if we attach this eyeball hair? <laughs> Pushing bro off the bridge with no mercy. And that right there tells you a lot about Koba. Yep. So fast forwarding to the second movie, the experimentations on the apes has led to a virus that continues to heighten their intelligence and is turning the humans into short bus riders, killing hmm. off a lot of us. Caesar's got a kingdom now and he's trying to avoid a war with the human settlement camp to preserve life. But Koba's not feeling that. He wants to slaughter every human for turning him into some otherworldly looking creature. Hmm. So while Caesar and the humans have a truce, Koba's looking for Caesar and just pushes little bro right here to the ground for no reason. The dad comes through and is trying to save his son just like, hey, chill out Franken ape, we all, we <laughs> all friends ape. here. Koba was about to take that man's arm off and beat him with it, but Caesar's hmm. best friend Maurice steps in to defend his orders of a truce with the humans. Koba starts calling out Caesar's name like he's his pops. Bro's forgetting his place. Hmm. Caesar arrives and that's when Koba starts calling him out in front of everyone. Hmm. Started telling everyone that Caesar ain't even really one of us for real. That nigga used to be rocking sweaters back in the day. Hmm. Hitting that man with the... His girl Clarence. And Clarence hmm. Clarence hmm. has hmm. real good marriage. He asked Caesar, mile, man, baby. are you even still repping ape anymore? Poking him in his chest. Caesar's like, am I still repping ape? And to this day, yeah. to this yeah. day, <laughs> Tackling Koba and they go tumbling Koba somehow ending up on top But Caesar looks up and sees people recording His life was <laughs> before so his eyes My boy had to lock in Flipping them over to be on top of Koba And start beating this man's face in crazy With the way Koba already looking Caesar might accidentally mess around and make this man handsome <laughs> Caesar grabs him by the throat And starts bashing the back of his head against the ground They got human guests there And they looking at him like This nigga is crazy <laughs> You fucked up But Caesar looks by a code <laughs> and fuck bitches get bananas and less importantly ape do not kill, kill ape. ape so he doesn't kill koba and even goes as far as to when koba asks him for forgiveness he gives it to him but koba did not let that slide so later on he waddled out and got a gun from the humans yep. then came back and gave caesar that jfk treatment shot him right in the shoulder but caesar was able to hop into the healing chamber and ended up surviving he also managed to follow the scent of ugliness all the way over to this construction tower to find Koba. And at this point, Koba's ruined everything. He got <laughs> mad apes killed, started a war with humans, and burned down their home. Secured his spot on Mount Crashout. <laughs> this crash is when Caesar drops the coldest line in film history. Yeah. Caesar, we Koba, we can go. Damn. Koba throws the gun away and kicks Caesar down, jumps on him, but gets kicked away. And I can't lie, my boy Caesar starts getting peaced up. Cause Koba hits him with a double overhand, right slap, another double overhand, left. And then with the exact same hand he just hit him with, on the way back, backhands him. And even though he's my goat, I can't hmm. lie, Caesar's getting cooked right now. What do I look like trying to like deny that LeBron doesn't <laughs> know lyrics? That nigga was on live talking about some shabba lava ding dong. Koba pushes him, but Caesar grabs Koba, having the both of them fall down taking hard hits. Koba having a cut on his side. And that right there was the final straw for Koba. Hmm. He said, oh no, nah. forget playing fair. I should have hmm. kept that shit on me. Looking around for something to use and grabs a metal beam to use as a weapon. And they begin this Super Smash Bros. ass level as Koba just chases him through this big <laughs> obstacle course, swinging and missing on every single one. Koba with that Hall of Fame chase down badge catches up to Caesar and swings twice, missing both. And this is when Caesar picks up Russell Westbrook's jump shot and throws it at Koba's wound. Mm. Caesar then quickly scurries over and picks up a shield. He trying to be the next Captain America. I know one of y'all racist ass probably was thinking, well, he succeeded. Koba mm. begins walling out, banging on the makeshift shield over and over and over again, eventually smacking it out of Caesar's hands. Koba been standing like an old man this whole time like, Oh, my hip! Bro not even <laughs> trying to be low key with it, basically wearing a hit me hair sign over his head. He goes for a hit and Caesar hits him right in the wound. That little baby ass scratch got Koba in shambles as he swings and misses getting hit again. 
How are you losing to an ape recovering from a gunshot wound he suffered 30 minutes ago? Hmm. Koba starts pounding and beating on Caesar's back again as Caesar hits him in the wound hmm. once more. They're both super tired. Hmm. Caesar's stumbling backwards looking like Steve Rogers after jumping Tony Stark for being mad about his parents being killed. Hmm. So Koba pulls down all these metal rods, but last minute Caesar is able to dodge out the way. And this is when Caesar's instincts kick in, using the chains as vines while they monkey jout. If you didn't know though, Commissioner Gordon is in this movie and he's dealt with psychotic Ronald McDonald's and evil <laughs> yep. shit man, so he knows how weird stuff could get. Yep. And he decides to blow up the building where all the apes are, causing the entire thing to implode on itself. Now I want y'all to see right here really <laughs> illustrates the difference between these two characters. Caesar gets up and the first thing he does is go to help others. Meanwhile, Co Which is funny enough because Caesar don't play by any circus, he's actually in the Batman playing his own um, Pennyworth. And same director too did as well with um, Don't Play Ace Matt Reeves if you don't, don't know who directed this movie. Yep, same director. Koba gets up, sees an ape in need, grabs the metal off of him only to you grab the gun that? and puts it back. He's selfish. He never really cared about saving apes. Probably the type to record himself doing good deeds. He and also, he was in, he was playing Oz Claus in um, Avengers, Avengers the Ultron and he was a Black Panther. Spoiler alert, he gets killed off by Killmonger. So, yeah. Hey y'all, look how I just gave these broke niggas a band. Koba <laughs> starts spraying, hitting an innocent bystander Damn. in the process. Caesar's camping behind the structure, but manages to throw a pile of rebar metals at Koba, but he misses. Mm. Whoever customized the gun Koba got, got the extended mag with 500 bullets. <laughs> somehow still not in need of reloading, Koba sprays and hits Maurice. And that's too far. Maurice don't be doing shit. This like being <laughs> a Jack Black hater. Fuck this <laughs> jumping for, nigga. So Caesar <laughs> jumps off, tackling Koba, sending both of them rolling down the scaffolding. Caesar managed to roll somewhere safe, but Koba wasn't so lucky. He got so desperate, he even tried to use Caesar's words against him. Remember what you be saying? Apes don't kill apes. <laughs> yeah, Caesar right. Caesar grabs his hand, but then it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Looks around and sees all the damage that Koba has caused. Stares Koba right in his face, which is a tall task, and tells him, you are not ape. ape. Hitting him with the same move he hit the guy in the first movie with, a pump fake. Letting go of his hand and letting Caesar hit the Mufasa, ending all the madness. <laughs> Damn, man. Great recap, man. This, this was a hilarious recap, man. I didn't expect Blake Boy was actually doing like a, a, type, a, um, a recap of Rise of Planet Apes, the first one. I didn't expect him to do that. I thought he was going to do it like just Dawn. But yeah, Rise of Planet Apes was great. It's been so long I've seen that too as well. It's been so long. This makes we really makes me watch the trilogy as a whole. I definitely missed that quite a lot, man. But yeah, man, that, that was a first recap, man. That was a great recap as always, Blake Boy. Great job, man. Great job. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Blade Runner's recap of Donnie Plan the Apes, including Rise of Planet Apes just now. So, yes, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed those, please hit that button and comment your thoughts. What is your favorite in the trilogy? Have you seen Keenan Plan the Apes? Oh, by the way, I kind of, if you um noticed that, like, I kind of cut, cut my video, there was a freaking, a freaking bug in my damn laptop, so I kind of had to cut it out, which is really annoying as hell. I had to it just freaking flew on my screen and kind of messed up the recording a little bit but i got i managed to get everything back together again of course thank god because i want to do it this one take i want to do it again so all squad i have another blank boy recap i've been wanting to do it this is part two of his adventures of free recap so all squad please stay tuned for that